Hello all you angels, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Shyla, here with a special middle of the week video. Uh, we are actually out and about, we're out of the room. It's been like field trip week. First we went out of town to, to do the electrolysis and now we're out of my bedroom and into the kitchen to do this filming. Today we are gonna do a little filming um, for my women's best um, new products that I have received. Um, obviously they didn't send any of it to me. I've used my own money because let's face it, they're not gonna sponsor a little tiny channel like me. Um, so this will be all my own opinion. I have a bunch of stuff here. I hope that you like it. It's kind of like goes over some of the supplements that I use. If you follow my Instagram, you know, and if not, I'll post a little picture here. I have a huge problem with buying supplements from Women's Best. I buy so much of them. I have this massive wall full of them. When we had our fantasy draft, the boys are over here making fun of me um, for how much stuff I actually have for supplements. Um, anyway, before we get going, please take a second, like and subscribe to the video and to my channel. Hit the little bell button so that way um, you're notified every time I do a video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. We post every Monday and every Friday and you want to make sure you hit the bell because like today I'm gonna to throw this video up on a Tuesday I think let's throw this up let's let's be fun with it let's do something different and for all my returning subscribers I appreciate every single one of you also take a second to go to my Instagram and subscribe to my Instagram uh, I'll post ideas for new videos get your guys opinion on that um, and it's always a fun time there so make sure you go by um, so I feel like now let's get into let's get into this um, I feel like today we are going to start with the BCAA aminos and energies because I want to start with the fruity stuff because I want I feel like as soon as I get the, the chocolate taste in my mouth from some of the other stuff, it's going to make other stuff taste weird. Um, the first one I have, um, um, I bought all three of the new flavors. First one I have is the blue raspberry, which I've already tried, so I'm not going to try this one on video. It is so delicious. It is, I've tried it. I tried it because I got two different packages. I tried this one first before I decided to do this video. Um, kind of reminded me of the blue raspberry Kool-Aid. Not as sweet though, obviously. Uh, I like the BCAA aminos and energies. Um, if it's early in the morning and you're just like, you just need some extra pep in your workout and just the regular aminos aren't gonna do it for you and you want more. Um, so right now I like this flavor, but now we are gonna try the other two flavors. So we have some little cups here. I literally just opened these. So I was waiting to open them. That way you know they're fresh. So we have watermelon. This is the first one we're gonna try. And I'm really excited for this one because, don't you hate it when like the stuff ships and it like settles and like the little spoon gets stuck and it's all annoying and you can't get to it. Um, the watermelon sorbet is my favorite flavor of the BCAs. So I was hoping when I ordered this one that I would really like this one too. So, Let's shake this one up. My little women's best shaker. And do you guys add ice to your BCAAs? I was never adding ice to them. And then um, I don't know if you follow Gabby Chan, but I was following her and she was showing ice on BCAAs. And it's like so much better, like when it's cold. Um, I just love it so much better that way. I always, I always put ice in them now. So delicious. It's pretty good, pretty good, reminding me of, seems to be shook up a little more, but kind of reminding me of the original watermelon sorbet and just the BCAAs. And what I really like about the BCAA aminos um, is that unlike when you add just the regular, uh, um, the BCAAs energy is when, when normally in my other ones, when I would add just the, um, just the pre-workout to my BCAAs or have it by itself, I would get really jittery, really shaky, and it was absolutely the worst. Um, with these, I don't get that feeling, so it's actually really nice. Okay, that one's pretty good. That one might be my favorite. That one might have dethroned blue raspberry. Okay, now the third flavor, <coughs> they also have three other flavors, but this is just the three new flavors. This one is the fruit fusion flavor. So let's try this one. We got another little women's best cup here. My son came home from school and I have all this stuff set in the my kitchen. And he was like, what is all this shit in my way? <sighs> so funny. Kids, I know that you guys want some. If you guys want some, I'll give you mine. I promise. Okay, so let's try this one out. 
trust me, I tell my friends all the time, if they're thinking about having more kids, just take my teenager for the weekend, it'll totally cure you of wanting more kids. So, this is the first fusion. Mmm, that one's pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. That one kind of reminds me of like, Anyone ever try like that or like the orange strawberry banana drinks? That's kind of what this one reminds me of, and that's pretty pretty. That's pretty good. That was one of my favorites for like just a, like a juice to drink, not a healthy juice. But back in the day when you were drinking juice and you thought it was healthy, that's pretty good. Oh, I can't decide which of the three I love more. Those are all really really good. I'm glad that I got all three of the flavors. If I had to choose one. If I had to choose one to start with, it, um, I would do the blue raspberry just because I remember the old Kool-Aid blue raspberry and that's kind of what I thought of. Um, but that, if you like the, that orange strawberry banana taste, you might try that fruit fusion. It is really good. Now I want to drink them all. Okay, the next thing I have, I only got one of these. Um, and I don't usually drink a lot of protein powders because I eat enough food that has high protein in it, um, like salmon and chicken, that I don't really need that big of a supplement. But I did get, because um, I, I haven't seen the flavor, the Fitway Chocolate Peanut Butter Fusion. And I love chocolate and peanut butter. I love Reese's, so I was in. I wanted to try it. I actually didn't know about it, but um, my girl Bella Fernandez was posting about it in one of her videos, so I wanted to try it after I saw her posting about it. So. Now here's the, one of the reasons I don't drink a lot of, of protein shakes is I hate them with water. I don't want to drink them with regular milk because it's not as healthy. I don't really like almond milk because I don't like how the consistency, how thick it is with my protein shakes. Rice milk kind of makes it taste funny, but if you are picky about your milk like me for your protein shakes, try cashew milk. Um, I had never tried it before and then I saw Megan Grubb talking about it. I do the unsweetened vanilla cashew milk and it's not all super thick, it's not a weird consistency and it is really good. So if you're a picky milk drinker, definitely try that. So, let's move on to the protein. Let's try some of these. We're going to get to some good stuff here shortly if I can find the the stirrer for the protein shake. It's like way down there. This is horrible. You would think that I was smart and I did all this ahead of time, but I didn't. I didn't do any of that ahead of time. So it's a good thing that I filmed this in the kitchen because that would have really annoyed me if I would have got that all over the carpet. Okay, so let's try this out. Now that I'm making a mess everywhere. So now that I dug that out, it smells good. It smells like a little Reese's mix. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm, that's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Before, my favorite was the um, the unicorn flavor, the strawberry vanilla flavor, but this chocolate peanut butter fusion, this one might be my new favorite for the for the protein drinks. Mmm, yeah, that's definitely a must try. If you love chocolate peanut butter, you should definitely try that one. Um, and also, if you have any other flavors you think I should try, I think they also have like a marshmallow peanut butter that I want to try. Um, leave it down below and I'm going to try it because I am totally down to try some new flavors. Now, let's get into the protein bars. The protein bars just came out. I got one of each kind. So I got the, it comes in three kinds, chocolate hazelnut crunch, coconut crunch, and the strawberry crunch, which seems to be everybody's favorite that I've been watching. Um, these just came out, they're brand new. Um, they're, they look like they're pretty healthy for you. I don't eat a lot of protein bars, but it would be nice to have them for, on the go, like especially when I have to go to my next electrolysis appointment. It would be nice to have some of these to take with me. Um, let's take a look here. Each bar has 15 grams of protein, so that's good. So let's start with the chocolate hazelnut crunch. That 
That one's definitely good. You can taste the chocolate. The chocolate's really strong. You can taste the hazelnut with it. I like the crunch with it. Kind of reminds me of a Nestle's crunch. Okay, now let's try the coconut crunch. We're gonna save the strawberry crunch for last because that seems to be everybody's favorite and I wanna see um, if, if it's mine too. That one's really good too. You can taste, you can really taste the coconut in it. They, they do really good with these bars. These bars are really, really good. So far, I like both of them. And don't think that I'm just like easy and I like everything as long as it says Woman's Best because there's some stuff in Woman's Best I didn't like. But I am not gonna lie. So far, I like all this stuff. And the last one, the Strawberry Crunch. The strawberry crunch one is really good too. I think that the the chocolate hazelnut crunch one is really good if you want something that's like, if you're really craving something chocolatey and sweet, the chocolate hazelnut crunch is the way to go because it's really, really chocolatey and the, the strawberry crunch almost tastes like, um, uh, like a strawberry with yogurt on the top of it. Um, as you can see, it's white. So it's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, it's really, really good. I like that one. Um, and then if you're just in the mood for something coconutty and chocolatey, I mean the coconut crunch one is good too. You can't go wrong with any of them. But if you are something, someone that likes, you know, more of a berry flavor, you're gonna like the strawberry crunch more. If you are someone who likes something really chocolatey, you're gonna like the chocolate hazelnut more. But all three of them are good. I would definitely recommend buying any of them. They are delicious. And I wanna eat them all. <laughs> um, the next thing I have, I'm not gonna try because I've already had these, are the protein cookies. I did talk about these um, in my favorites video for the month of September, I have the cookies and cream flavor. These are absolutely amazing. Um, they, it tastes like you're eating a, like an Oreo, but like a, like a healthier Oreo. They're obviously, they're not like great for you, uh, cause they're still a cookie, but they aren't as bad for you as like Oreos. They only come like four to a box, which is like $2. So they're kind of expensive. Um, so you can't just sit down and eat an entire box and I guess you could but you know it's expensive if you're going to do that so you should practice your portion control it should help with that but it is a nice healthy snack to have um, if you're really craving something later at night and each one each little cookie has well I don't know it says it has 21 grams per box there's four per box so like six grams of protein per cookie Maybe a little bit less than that, five, just over five, five and a half, somewhere in there um, per cookie. So I'm not good at math, five and a quarter, whatever. Show me down below, I don't care. Definitely good, definitely a must buy. If you're placing an order, throw a couple of boxes of these in. Trust me, you will thank me later. And the last thing that I have for this little trial here, I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm enjoying it because I was hungry, so I'm enjoying eating, is I got the protein wafers, and I got the protein wafers both in chocolate and the cookies and cream. So I actually haven't tried these yet. I actually was saving these. The protein cookies I was not saving. I, got, I was really bad with that. I got into those already. And I'm only gonna try one of them. I'm only gonna try the chocolate one because it comes in a it comes in a pack of it looks like there's five packs in a box. Let's see here. And they look like that. So they're broken up. Each one is split in half like so. Okay, so let's try one of these guys. And I got these because, I mean, I like this kind of stuff. It's good to have snacks in the house. If you are trying to eat healthy, you still need to have some type of snack because if you try and restrict yourself too much and everyone you watch, um, all of the influencers will all tell you the same thing. If you try to cut out absolutely everything and not have little treats for yourself, you, you're setting yourself up for failure and you're gonna end up craving stuff. And it's good to have a little healthier stuff like this. It still has good protein that isn't terribly bad for you because um, it's a delicious snack to have and it can help it can help you with that craving that you have. Hmm. 
Those are definitely good. It's definitely a good snack. And I was holding it too long. The chocolate has come off on my thumb. <laughs> Other than that, <coughs> I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I hope it gave you some ideas of stuff to get. I know I wasn't very helpful because I said I liked everything, but hopefully I did give you some ideas. One thing I did notice um, about the woman, the women's best protein shakes compared to others is the pr the taste, the flavor isn't as strong as like others. It's not as sweet. And I noticed that like um, before I switched over to Women's Best, I was using EHP Labs. And before that I was using Shred Supplements until they made me mad, which is a whole other story. If you want, I'll tell you guys about it later, but I hate them. I won't ever order from them again. Anyway, EHP Labs wasn't that bad, but their protein shakes were really, 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 thick and flavorful and like the chocolate and the strawberry, they were really, really sweet. But with the Women's Best one, the flavor, when I first switched over, I was like, these don't taste like sweet at all. I could barely taste it. And uh, I noticed that the flavor was really, really faint in it, which is a good thing because it's not overpowering, especially if you don't want it to be really, 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 really like sweet and strong, especially after your workout. Anyway, with that, that is the end of our little review. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, or like reviews of like supplements and like foods and whatnot, and healthy stuff, let me know and I will definitely do that. Um, also, my friend, my friend Jesse was saying that maybe I should make some videos of um, some stuff that I cook for healthy foods because she tried one of the one of the little recipes I gave her for squash pods and she really really liked it. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I will start doing that too. Um, Morgan video is coming. There's another Gymshark release coming. I'm going to get some of that stuff and we'll do a little, a little thick girl review and try on for that one too. Other than that, uh, I will see you guys soon. Have a good rest of your week. I don't post any more videos until Friday. Love you all.